Aloha, good morning. Um, this morning we get some manini. I got this yesterday. So I'm going to open them up just for inspect, see where it's stay in the spawning cycle. But before I do that, i show you guys this right here. It's telling me that the uh, males are producing, you know, they're melting. So, actually, this is kind of like the telling of the, the beginning of the spawning. So, a lot of the fishes right now getting ready for dualis, especially the small surgeon fishes. And this is the evidence right here the milk from the male. So, we're going to inspect them, cut them all up, and see how many males we get. Um, Right here, this one, the big one right here. It's melting, you can see them coming out. Yeah, right there. So this one, you don't need to even open them, you can tell this the male. And um, you're gonna see what the ratio, because that is really important in the whole cycle of this, this fish. The ratio, tell you the success of the, the spawning. So anyway, Okay, come back later. Okay, so um, I just wanted to do a quick rerun on this melting over here. So, what I should have told you guys was if you press on the stomach, sometimes the thing come out, yeah? And you can see the milk coming out. So that one I know is male. This other one, because the milk not coming out, it probably female. But we're gonna see, okay? So that one guarantee is male. This one's over here could be immature and could be this tree is female. But we're gonna see, okay? Come back. Okay, so in open up all the fish, and like I said. The two males over here still melting right there. And the other ones that I said was, I think was female. Um, my thought was kind of like what I was thinking. And the one I said that was kind of immature, well, it's a male. You get gonads right there. So, yeah, it's, it's good to know that at that size, they can produce uh, gonads. So it's kind of like put them down in a book. So you know, when you catch a fish, you know if they are able to produce, reproduce or not. You know, if they're mature enough, or maybe they're not. So the story, these eggs are mature. This one here, um, it's kind of like still young and these two here is almost ready for burst yep and the males are ready to receive them and or the eggs are ready to receive the male uh, milk and they're ready to spawn and these red veins you see on a gonad it's kind of like telling you, um, yeah, they're ripe. Plenty blood, yeah, plenty. And the coloration of the eggs, you know, as you get more to this kind of work, you, you can pretty much guess, just like me, before I open them, I can tell you what kind of sex and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's just indigenous science. Well, I like to say ingenious science. Um, as people have. So, Mahalo for sharing this moment with me. And Allah. Sorry, <laughs> I was talking about the ratio of the, the six fish I had. And you know, um, Manini, because it's this school, you know, they spawn in big schools. So, and it's spawn in open water. So, a lot of it has to do with. The ratio, a lot of it has to do with the, you know, the even numbers because they, 
is so big, the school is so big. So they can even number, this morning was three females and three males. And one, one male was immature. But anyway, uh, if you look closely to uh, one of the females was kind of immature too. <laughs> anyway, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that uh, the numbers was like right on. Like perfect, that's how it's supposed to be one-on-one, -on -one, yeah? So without the number, you know, you might have problem. You can, you know, like any other species, you can carry eggs and um, if the eggs don't get fertilized, the spawning is not successful. So that is another element that you like add to spawning rather than just looking at the eggs or the gonads, you know, uh, mature gonads. That is, that is really important. And for different species, you know, it, it's, it's different. It's not the same. Some species would be better off um, having like less males and more females. Other species might be more females and less males. So that's why um, sometimes we make regulations of, according to that, yeah. So if, if you never do your science, if you never do your homework, um, try not to act like um, this is how it should be. Cause you gotta do this kind of work for no. It's um, that's how the old Hawaiians been managed the place. You know, they never had book. The book was what was right in front of their nose. That was the book. And now you cannot just, because you like be like that, you're gonna assume that what you see is correct. Um, no, you gotta do the work. You gotta really do the work and um, validate your work. So. This is how I validate my work. And um, yeah, there's no ifs or buts. I mean, how can you say I'm wrong when a picture is right in front of your face? So, hey, suck it up, man. Aloha.